When you gotta go, you gotta go. We gotta talk about Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Cause that. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that is the pinnacle of when you gotta go, you gotta go. After seven years of marriage, Kim Kardashian has filed for divorce from Kanye West. Kardashian's well-known divorce lawyer filed the papers yesterday. The 40-year-old Kardashian and 41-year-old Kanye West were headed for a split. We kind of knew this coming. Kardashian has filed for joint legal and physical custody of the couple's four children, daughters North, who's seven, Chicago, oh, of course. Chicago who's three, and sons Saint, who's five, and Psalm, who turns two in May. The uh, outlet quotes sources who say Kanye has accepted the custody arrangement and that the pair are committed to co-parenting. The couple have prenuptial mm-hmm. agreements in place. And from our peoples at TMZ, oh, hell. they uh, added that neither is interested in contesting those prenup agreements, saying that Kanye and Kim have already begun to settle property issues. The prenup guarantees Kim Kardashian one million dollars for every year of marriage according to other uh, previous reports through the couple's representative one time payout or per year once again the prenup guarantees Kim Kardashian one million dollars for every year of marriage according to previous reports through the couple's perspective net worths have skyrocketed since it was drafted the prenup reportedly states that Kim Kardashian earns from the Kardashian clothing line and promotional appearances will be considered her separate and sole income. And whatever she makes from keeping up with the Kardashians is hers to keep as well. Real estate may be another problem though. After purchasing a Calabasas, California mansion for $40 million, Kim and Kanye reportedly spent $20 million on renovations and the couple also owned three adjacent properties as well as land near Palm Springs, California, bought back in 2020 for $6.3 million. Now, it's unknown if Kanye's holdings in Wyoming, which is a $14 million ranch in Cody, along with a warehouse also in the city and another $15 million ranch in Graybull, where he was spending much of his time before the split, are his alone. At least some material aspect of the split is over and done with. So uh, back in early February, Kanye was seen moving hundreds of pairs of sneakers out of the Calabas home he shared with Kardashian. That's why he came. I, I, Kanye came to my doorstep wanting to sell me a pair of sneakers, man. What? Yeah, I, I turned him away. I said, damn, Kanye, you, I, I got enough sneakers, bro. Mm. You didn't want no Yeezys? Yo, man, I wanted the, the Versace one. Once he did with Versace, man, and those were pretty good. Those are three thousand dollars sneakers. I think he did with Versace. Mm, and he didn't have them when he offered it to you. Oh, but I, yo, I'm trying to understand this, man. So he didn't want none of no Kardashian money whatsoever. He just wanted to keep his money and walk away. That's what it sounded like here. He's just keeping all of his stuff, and uh, you know, she's keeping her stuff. So it looks like it's getting split right down the middle. But things can change in the hiccup. We all know this, but right now the prenup states that, you know, Kardashian clothing line, the promotional appearances will be considered her separate and sole income. And then whatever she made from the show is hers to keep as well. So, you know, So then mm -hmm. what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. No applies. No, no, it's split down the middle, bro. That's why I've been breaking down. Yeah, that's put down, man. Nobody got any advantage over the next person. Yeah, Kanye keeps his houses, his ranches in Wyoming. It's all his. Kim keeps her TV show money and her, uh, I guess, wardrobe and all that other type of earnings. Kim keeps that. Yeah, because I thought she was making more than he was because the show, the show itself is is Boku. Boku yes. Dollars. Oh, she's making tons of money. It's all hers. It's all and hers. he's doing his own thing. I, but one thing they do, they, they they didn't mention in the report. I don't know if you read the rest of it. Mm-hmm. I hope this is time for Kanye to get some get some help because I know he's bipolar. They they, yeah. they did diagnose him as being bipolar. Mm-hmm. I think that might have been been a hamper on the marriage and everything because it, it, man was going through a lot of different mood swings. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah, totally. He was. I could tell he he was breaking down. I could just tell even when he wanted to run for president. That looked a little bit weird. 
you know, I thought it was just a little bit out of his character, but I, I just, you know, I hope he gets help. I hope this doesn't make him spiral down either, even further into the rabbit hole. Hopefully not. I mean, I know he's been uh, really having uh, problems ever since his mom passed. And, you know, it, it's always rough when you, when you lose uh, your mom, who's like your right-hand man. You know, that's your, that's your roadie. So, yeah, that, that's rough. That's rough on anybody. So you, you can't imagine what he was going through during that time. That's one of the many things probably that kind of compiled and piled on top of uh, dealing with being uh, bipolar. The, the marital problems that's been happening between Kim and Kanye are going to be covered in the final season with Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So GPS, you better uh, get your TV and DVR tuned up and ready. It's going to happen this year. Though all the parties involved are tied to a non-disclosure agreement. So fans won't be getting any details until the show airs later in the year. Does Kanye really need to just get out and just do what he needs to do and not worry about this? He needs to exit from this as quietly as he possibly can. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he doesn't want to give up any of that money over there in California. But I'm sure he could just say, look, if you will give my my portion to my children, you know, just allocate some money off of it to them keep it i don't even want to bring that shit up because you know these hot these million dollar divorces this and hell it, it, even one dollar divorces like mine right mm. me and my wife weren't really splitting up anything mm. but some people have to make it a fight yeah. to mm. have something to do mm -hmm. and that's where you start spending money I mean, you can follow you can file for divorce in PA for two hundred dollars, two fifty I think tops. Okay. You can fill out the paperwork, follow with the court. That's it, two fifty. The minute you go get a lawyer, it's fifteen hundred dollars. But again, if you want to fight, it's gonna cost you, mm -hmm. especially if you have nothing else to do. I, I do. I, I got a lot of work. I got a son I'm trying to raise. I got a life I'm trying to live. Some liquor I'm trying to drink. Some TV <laughs> I'm trying to watch. And, you know, I, I, I just really don't have that kind of time for court. I don't. Mm -hmm. I just really don't. Kids are a factor in this one. So, I mean, elaborate on that. Well, you know, they both, uh, it, again, transportation for them is not really a problem. You know, if you leave me a house in New York, I'll, you know, leave me a house in California. You have a house in New York. You have a house in California. We'll arrange to be out there at the same time. That way, you know, we're not flying back and forth across the nation just because, you know, I want to be away from you and you want to be away from me. Um, there's plenty of room to work this out. And hell, I mean, with that big ass California property, you can stay on one side. I'll stay on the other. We'll mm -hmm. bring in some contractors and drywall up the middle. OK, you can have your own driveway and entrance. I'll have my own driveway and entrance. I think they're going to get rid of that house because well, they yeah. may. But well, they have they have adjacent properties, right? They have so you don't properties. even have to do anything to that one, mm -hmm. right? So all you got to do is hire a driver mm -hmm. to take the kids from this driveway, go down two, go down the same street, two more driveways, and up and in the house. Bam! You could do that. I don't even have to come out my house and see you. You ain't got to come out your house and see me. But I don't think they they don't seem like they're bitter like that that we know of. They seem very both sides seem very friendly and they want to just buy. it's not an angry, nasty divorce as we would see other couples go through. So I, I think they still won't be there. It's just, you know, I just hope they don't look at it as failure because, yeah, please, it's because you get divorced doesn't mean you're a bad person. Mm -hmm. It's just you and that person don't get along too well right. anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what it boils down to. They're still, they still seem to be friends for now because I we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm. as time goes on because, you know, we happy now and then later on, a couple years down the line, we'd each other the throats. But mm -hmm. I'm shocked that they that they said, okay, you keep your stuff, I keep my stuff, and we will live our lives out. Basically, since they have other homes to live in, they're going to sell this home that they're renovating. They're just going to sell, but they're going to live in a secondary home. And once that home is sold then they're just going to take the profits from it. They might split it down the uh, down evenly. We'll see. That's the only headache that they got right now. Everything else, like Cortez has said, it's been very calm. It's been very professional. So, and, and um, it's how it should be, but it doesn't happen nine times out of the ten. So, you know, they're setting a good example of how 
yes, things didn't work out as a married couple, but they can still be friends. They can still support their children. Things can still work out in some aspect. It doesn't have to be always, oh, well, I hate that person's guts and they hate my guts. I don't care. Da, 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 da. It doesn't always have to happen that way. This time it didn't. So far. So far. So. My attitude is if y'all having issues with trying to figure out who's going to get that house, just give it to me. Hey, there you go. Why not? Give me the house, guys. I'll find something to do with the house. Believe me. I, get, I, I got a great idea. You can take that house and you sell me yours. One dollar. Yeah, I could do that, man. One dollar. So hopefully, their their house, like you said, house is still under renovations and everything. I so. think it'll be done. They'll get it done quick. You know, they got the money. Renovations get done fast. That's one thing I learned through uh, HGTV. So you know, you got the money, it's done fast. I just feel bad for Kanye because, like I said, Kanye, he thrives off of being loved. Yeah. And mm-hmm. not to to be rejected yeah. is, especially for somebody that is bipolar that's not a good thing man rejection is hard to handle mm-hmm. yeah it's you good. know now the whole world knows what's going on now so you know hopefully he's getting the help that he needs to mm-hmm. get get himself back on track definitely all we can do is pray for him i, I love kanye you know kanye's yeah. a good guy definitely great yes yeah, so he could be a little flamboyant but that's kanye but mm-hmm. at the same time I, I hate to see another human being hurt the way he's hurting right now you mm-hmm. know i mean Let's, let's be real, man. Kim Kardashian had a big button to smile, man. BBD classic. <laughs> classic lady. <laughs>